Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're getting back into that shabby experience that is Epic Chef. So, I did a couple things here. I moved the cow summoner over here, and I'm also going to put the feeding trough over here. This isn't weird. Like, there's nothing wrong with this at all, because I'm going to fence this all in. Oh wait, I need to put the food in there. I'm going to fence this all in, so then the cows are now penned in this little area here. So, that'll go in here. So let's build, I'm going to go grab some wood. We're going to build a fence. Probably actually not yet, honestly. Um, I do need to get ready for Andragos here. Actually, I want to increase this a bit more. I need to increase all of this. This way. Now it's a one by six on each side. So that means I can get effectively two seeds out of it. So that'll be decent for the time being. What I really need for that cow not to get uh not to get antsy on me here i really want to see what is a what does seed sell for let me make let me make two potato seeds right i've got plenty of potatoes up in here and i'm gonna make a carrot seed just to test it so those are our seed testers actually you know what? let's test out one two three let's test out a mushroom seed as well because these are obviously a little cheaper too so i want to i want to see how these go we got that apple seeds Mandraga seeds. Obviously, I'm not going to sell that. We need to grow our Mandraga farm up just a bit more here still. All right, grab this milk. I do want to buy another cow. But first, yeah, these are just eggs and stuff. I'm going to grab some more eggs. These are going to start to get more useful here. So, what I got... Let's see. We need... We need to go get our Gostado here. So, we have to wait for these Mandragas to... Ripen, which honestly, they should ripen up within an hour or two. They should be ready to go very shortly. So while we wait, why don't we fix up our apple trees just a bit here? What I've got, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need to, I need three more stacks of, of wood here. So let's cut down three trees just to fill up that box. So I've got plenty. Three. One. Two. Three. Okay. And that's perfect. So now our apple tree box is full. I hate when these things are up. You actually can't deposit items. It's pretty... Excuse you. I'm missing one. What? Stupid game. All right. We'll cut one, down one more just to put one in here. And this is very wasteful. Very wasteful. All right. Put this back in here. Apples done. Good. Come on, crops. Oh, see, there they are. I told you they'd be ready soon. I'm a genius. So, we're going to test out seed prices today. Do I have enough tomatoes to sell a bunch of them? Because if I do, I could potentially make um, another 1,200 and come back and get two cows. Yeah, I need to make a couple seeds here as well, but that's fine. I've got plenty of stuff. Potato seeds, tomatoes. So, where's my boy? Get you here. I'm going to load you up. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. I need five more tomatoes. There's five more tomatoes. Oops. Not that. There we go. That's perfect. Actually, I'm going to take... Oops, put that back in there. I want to put the seaweed in here. I need to organize this just a bit better eventually, but... um. Oh, there's two in here? What? Wait, if I take two, three, do this, right? And then I go pick up, what is that? That's five. I can pick up one of these that I left on the ground, turn that into a plank to save some room. I think we'll make that a plank. And then... Alright, then we're going to go to town, and we're going to get our Gostado now, because now we have all of our necessary ingredients here, right? So let's go. So passing by here, I got to remember to go in the dark forest, too, because we opened that pathway up to where the orcs were and oh and we haven't gone there yet so we got to do that too blam what's all that noise i think it came from the plaza i want it to be some like humongous freaking potato or something because they freaking blew it up with like nuclear waste or whatever how did the experiment go decently you sure well we managed to perfect an essence extractor i have the plans right here i see there were no snags oh within acceptable parameters Yep, look at that. Giant potato. That's amazing. We need to take pictures of that. And hold on, here it comes. And giant picture. Potato chasing people around. 
beautiful stuff. Then that giant potato monster thing that just spawned of another group of demented occultists. You want your stupid spectral sputter not? Ghost auto sounds better. Call it whatever you want, just take the planes and go. You shouldn't experience any secondary effects. So keep that in mind. I wish you luck explaining all this exp in the experiment report. Actually, we have a standard form, to be honest. I won't even need to check the other incidents checkbox. I love them. That's beautiful stuff right there. All right, we're close to getting times five on my vigor. What do you got? So let's see. So, oh good, I can still buy sacrificial substitutes. So these sell for 70. These are, oh wow. The carrot seeds sell less than the actual carrots. Same with the potato seeds. The seeds are worthless, so not even worth selling those. If you're gonna sell them, just sell the raw spud. For whatever reason, the, the value is much less. So there must be an easier way to get them in the future, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna just sell all these real quick, just to get rid of them. I've got plenty of extras, so. Um, I'm gonna take one of these, buy that. And then I'm gonna grab my boy. Oh, oh did I just sit down? Whoopsies, I didn't mean to do that. It was my time. Precious, precious time. I wanted to come down this way. Oh, yep, tomato's over here. Let's go see our boy. I should still have another day to wait before I can feed the feed the cats again, so. There we go. Tomatoes, you're a lifesaver. You're welcome. Sweet. So now we got a bunch of tomatoes from them. And now we've got our extractor. I don't know what that's gonna be. An essence extractor? That's interesting. So let's go turn that let's go build this essence extractor and see what kind of new ingredients we can get out of it. And I really need to up my vigor a little bit, get that boost, and then we can sell or not sell. Then we can craft a uh a bit of food and we can level up our our chef abilities as well too. I haven't done it yet because I've just been kind of letting myself get some free points here, but didn't get any vigor from that. So I'll just drop a tree. Um this guy here. Okay, so let's see. Mixer. This thing. Windmill. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the mixer, three quality planks. I have that. I had a feeling I was going to need those, so I've got one, two, three right here. So let's go mixer. I'm going to put it... Still kind of want to go in a row here, so I'm going to do it like... It just it's just too close so I can do this though I'm actually okay with that just because I can still access the path right here that's fine I'll live with this so let's see what we can make here uh we got ground beef not to be confused with sky beef obviously oh so that's what that hog means that, that makes more sense rather than robot ingredients it's processed food okay so processed animal product wow 12 12 and 8 and plus 15 when added to water leaves so I don't have anything like that except for seaweed. That's this, right? That's trash, though. That's just one. Th that's just five points. I mean, I'll get 15, so that could effectively make it 20, but that's not a good use of points. I could just do double meat and get a better dish out of that. So we got the gostado. Oh, let's go get my. Let's get some potatoes here. We definitely need that gostado. Oh, I forgot to sell. I made a. I made a mushroom sauce. I meant to try and sell it to see. Oh, I can see the values here. I'm stupid. Look. Value 25. Which is... Better. That's a good use of mushrooms. You can make mushroom sauce. Okay. Got my gustado. Okay, give me the... Get on this guy here. Jesus. Why do you have to walk so slow? What the... Oh. And... Okay, so... How did that move? Wasn't it over here just a moment ago? So, this is the gustado. It's a processed magic. Is that purple thing magic? Zero vigor, eight. Okay, eight and 12. That makes sense. Added with rice, it's plus 15. Um, okay. So, if I, what's this? This is special dough. I don't have rice. Um, special dough, rice and carrot. That's a weird dough mixture. Um, but it'll give me plus seven if I put it in the pan empty and it's processed. Oh, oh, I can make cow sacrificial substitute. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't buy two. So ghostado and cow feet. That's actually really simple. So we need to expand our farms a bit. I need to make more crop stuff. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, let's make a ghostado. 
So that's pretty cool. I want to make... I don't really want to do ground beef, do I? I do. I do want to do ground beef. I want to make a really good dish. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's make a super good dish because we're going to start losing points soon because I think times five is the max. So I want to make ground beef. I don't have anything good to mix that with, though. Like, if I put in this first... Like, if I put in this... Seaweed? Yeah, like... If I put in this, I'd get plus 7 vigor with that, so that'd be 11 vigor. And then... Yeah, I'm not too keen on it, but it might just be the best. I'll, I'll, fi I'll think about my, com my flavor combinations and see... What's the most points I can get at this point? Stand by. Good morning, everyone. So, what I wanted to do, I think I've got the best I can do at the moment. I played with a little bit of the numbers. I didn't get too crazy into it, but I think my best chance right now with the modifiers I have to get the best dish is as follows. We are going to do seaweed followed by ground meat, but then I'll get an extra 15 vigor out of that, and then just going to do a second ground beef uh, simply because I'm going to get another 32 points in total from it so it'll be the best bang for my buck and then we're also going to add in some palate cleanse here for the special cream sauce so and that's going to be the play I was trying to figure out how to get rat involved but I couldn't get it to work right like it just the math didn't work out to be the be favorable so we're going to go seaweed Meat and meat. And this is going to be the best we can do here. And then what's my sauce button? Um, an ingredients, uh, cream sauce. Do that. There we go. And now we're going to serve. Vigor Happy, Light Bite. I don't know what those achievements are, but... Seaweed Surprise and Meaty Strips and Beef. So, this was what I think the best I could do at the time. So, we've got 55, 47, and 17. Now, obviously, our uh, sophistry's a bit low here, but the others are high. And I've got a pretty decent bonus going on. So let's just eat this now. We, we need to level up. We need to get our skills a bit better here. So let's see. We're going to go from six right to eight. Oh, nine to ten. So we gained four levels out of there. So we got a bunch of new synergies unlocked here. Totally worth it. Um, I need, I've need. i got a means to create my own cows now. So I can be working on that. So let's see. Um, if I add this to the pan with a water animal, I'll get one times eight. That's pretty nice. Um, this, oh wow. So, oh, I already knew that, right? I think I already knew, no, I didn't know the ghost on it. So add it with rice, I'll get plus 15. And, um, I don't remember what the others were. I wish I could kind of see all the thing. Mental note. Um, none of that's useful. Okay, so we're level 10 now. That's amazing. We've got all sorts of stuff going on in the house, so I've got... I'm gonna grab some crops here. Tend to the gardens a bit, too. I want to put down... Actually, I don't want to put the seeds down just yet. I'm not ready for those. But, so we need the Ghostado. I've got one. What did I need to make a cow again? Because I do need to get those ready. Oh, sorry, it's in the mixer. Mixer is one gostado and cow feed. So that'll be pretty easy to do. We'll be working on that. And cow feed. Do I have new sauces? No new sauces here. I wanted to see if I got a new sauce from leveling up, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm assuming a lot of these locks are progression based rather than level based. So I'm going to make Two more Mandraga seeds. Yep. Two more of those. I'm going to come over here. We're going to plant those immediately because I want these to be growing as fast as possible. There we go. Double down on that. And now, what do I got here? 
Let's grab this. Let's bring our Ghostado to our Ghosty Pal. He's inside. And that's going to trigger the next part of the main story quest here with the ghost. I'm assuming this is also the special potato we need to fight with, so... Still trapped in the desolate gap between worlds. I see. I see. Still suffering from that hunger of yours? Indeed. I'm on it. The mages in town should be able to help me out. It can. Okay, hold on. So I need it in my hand. All right, so do this. Ghostado 2. Hey, look at this. Good news. I found a solution to your problem right here. Have already. I expected more. I mean... It's some truly splendid news, my worthy descendant. May I see it? Of course, here. This this is a potato. It's sort of a ghost of a potato. I call it a ghost. A ghostado. I figure that you could solve your hunger problems with this. You you expect me to eat this? Yeah, you said you were hungry, right? This should fix your spectral belly. That's not what I meant, you buffoon. I was talking about my hunger for the ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death. Hey, it's that my fault if you like to use convoluted language and expect people to understand what you're saying. Very true. Don't speak in code. You really thought a ghostly apparition materialized in this world to ask you for a potato? Hey, how was I supposed to know? Well, any idiot would have known I wasn't talking literally, and they're the same thing. No, they're not. A ghost has no conscience of its own. It's sort of a memory acting autonomically. <laughs> or automatically, I guess I did say. Autonomically sounds more efficient. Uh, whereas a specter is a conscious being. You pulled that definition out of your arse. Most people agree that they are interchangeable. Oh, really? Yep, we're just going to keep going here. Uh, da -da -da, spirit, yep. Spectre, yeah, okay, yep, and studying back home, yep, no back home, this is your home, you need to answer, yep, okay, yep, mm-hmm. The Underdigger, a poisonous spawn capable of swallowing a mountain hole. Growing wild underneath, relentlessly corrupting the tainted earth with its venomous tentacles. Wait, that's some sort of animal? A plant, but not just any meager vegetable, it's a prodigious monstrosity, a macabre of, or macabre, spawn heretically brought back from the era of myth. I mean the vinyl tendrils or whatever, they're not tentacles. Okay. Trying to warn you of the dangers of this land so you don't end up getting dragged to a horrible death, but sure, don't do get lost in technicalities, be my guess. So that's that flower thing that's over there behind those tendrils. We can't see the trees in the way. Oh, and are you what? Berber, I mean creatures of formidable veracity lurk in the land. Tender spiders, implacable predators whose screams of doom will haunt your nightmares. That sounds pretty serious. Worry not, I enslave them to guard the ruins. They've been magically sustained for decades and bound to an obedience field. They shall only devour those foolish enough to enter the forbidden ruins. And elves, of course. Yes, elves. What? You're an elf lover? Well, not a lover, just, you know, not a murderer. Elves are evil. We're at war with the damn homogeny for a good reason. Homogeny sucks, true, but they seem to have left us alone for a decade now. They'll come back like they always do. It's been a constant. If you find an elf in Concordia, he's more likely to be a deserter or someone born here. They still have no damn... Beware of spider signs if you're worried. Yep, okay. Uh, what's in this? The object of my obsession lies within an ancient temple. Is it a dragon? Uh, dating back from the myth of error, or the myth of the era of myth, and from the Tempers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's said to hold the gateway to the lands of gods guarded by a dragon. There's a dragon down there? Hmm. Worry not about the dragon, for the runes were sealed as I expired my last breath. Let's see, yep. What about the bird? The bird, yeah, the giant chicken that keeps screaming wake me up in my sleep. I don't know, must just be bird. Well, yeah, well. Uh, yep, get inside, but first you'll need to recover the Rod of Domination. We are powerless without it. We have a lot to do, a lot to do. Yeah, about that. What? I don't think I'm related to you. I just bought this property from a woman I met. The Dean was clear on the urgency on the matter. Well, she very specifically said, screw that old bastard. I didn't know what she meant at the time. But, but, my lineage. Sorry to hear that. How oh, dare. Yep, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Please don't burn the painting. It was all a misunderstanding. I'm a good fellow. We, we could be friends. Yeah, friends. Do you drop that tone? Yes. And stop using that scary face? Yes. Look, I'm not all happy about the Spectre Bound, but I'm also not the kind of person who enjoys evicting old people from my home. You can stay here if you don't cause any trouble, old man. I'll be good. Promise. Maybe you'll be able to do a thing or two about those curses. Yep. There's nothing we can do about them without the Rod of Domination. The one I had was lost long ago. I thought you knew about it for the first time we spoke, but instead you came back with an undead potato. I to think of something then, but I definitely won't be the guy who walks around town asking for a rod of domination. Yes, God forbid anyone thought you might be a strange person. That's true. Okay, so quest complete. Obtain a special potato. Quest completed. Create a gustado. So, prepare the fight. So, obtain a chef uniform and obtain a special potato. So, um, I'm probably going to want to use rice with it. So, I'm going to want to go rice, special potato, special potato. So, maybe I go with two special potatoes. And... Maybe I go with a sophistication boosting um, 
flavor profile. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Really not too sure. But also, I feel like... Oh, I already studied today. I need to study more. Simply because I feel like sophistication is harder to get up than anything else. That's what she said. All right, so coming out here for the day... Um, I need to make another Gostado. All right, do I have a potato? Oh, yeah. No, I turned all those things into that. Let's go talk to the girl and see what we have going on for the day. Uh, first thing, I need to use a bit of my wood here. I'm gonna do... Do that. Oh, oops, not the gate. Uh, craft. Oops, wrong buttons here. Here we go. Fence. That down. Am I out of wood? Yes, I'm out of wood now. Okay, perfect. Just clearing space. All right, through the town, and let's move on with our story progression. Cruising down to the beach at nighttime, we go talk to our girl, Mitra. Mitra. I have the chef outfit, but I still need to present it with the right ingredient. Yes, this. Mitra, I'll take a look at this. What, what in the hell is this? It's the essence of a potato. I call it a gostado. And you get something like that. It's a long story. You think it'll do though? Eh. If you prevent some, present something like this and manages to make it taste good, they will build him a damn statue. You think it'll do? Uh, a bit extravagant, but it might do the trick. Yeah, great. We can cross this one off the list then. As you can see, I also got myself a fancy uniform. I see. Is that all you managed to get? What? You think it needs a more glitter or something? You know, for a person who calls himself Zest, you ain't exactly a fountain of pizzazz. Oh, well, names don't exactly go with the personality. Looks like it. I mean, your name ain't Bill Tong, but here you are, jerky as hell. I'm helping you out of the kindness of my heart. Uh, out of remorse, you mean. The same. Not the same. Anyway, we can cross this off the list. Neat, I suppose so, but don't get cocky. You have no idea what you're stepping into. I have an idea, yes. The York Mafia wants to deep fry me in oil. I'm just trying to keep my spirits up. There are worse things than... Look. La Cosa Nostra. <laughs> it's a blasted cooking contest, Mitriel. I'm not getting fancy game stay cold. Critic Union. Uh, wait, are we going up to the battle now? I'm not ready for the battle. I don't have all the ingredients. Council of Despair. I wonder if this music's copyrighted too. This game likes to use copyrighted music, so be careful, streamers. The meeting begins. First point of the day, let's big thank you to Isferato for getting us to brand new headquarters, even if it's something needs to be done in the current decoration. Yeah. You want a tower? I guess the tower it was cheap after the previous owners left. And why would they leave such a charming place? Some some kids slayed their dark whatever and their plot was foiled. Their loss, our game. Just be happy you didn't have to get your own delicate elven hands dirty by cleaning up a severed tentacle mess, El. Ebner. Uh, you win this one. That That's an upper ground the tower. Let's get through the stuff today. Well, the mages have a special new dish this week. Something about changing hair color when eating it. Hair color? They're running out of ideas. Limitation dessert was amusing, but they're stretching the shenanigans a bit too much lately. Well, it sounds interesting. I'll be covering it. Uh, it definitely suits you. Have people focusing on your hair color rather than that actual cuisine. They're actually branding, Angra. And some color wouldn't kill you, sweetheart. It lend you one of my outfits. Maybe that way they'd stop calling you the ghost. You keep dressing like that, disrespecting the outfit for show. You're not even a chef. At least we have something in common. <laughs> Got him. Well, I must say, it's been a slow week. Same old league, same old restaurants. Most interesting thing I've heard is that that chef Bolton managed to improve the jiggliness of melon jelly recipe by 300%. Jiggling melons, really? That's very last decade. People seem to like it. Of course they do. Who doesn't like jiggling melons? Other than that, the leagues are proceeding as usual. No events except for some newcomer who challenged Terapio and say so. And some say there's been a sighting of a sea monster inside the security perimeter. What'd you say? Don't worry, they're just rumors. I don't think I'm any monster. But not that a newcomer challenged Terapio? Uh, some nobody who came abroad. Now that's interesting. I don't see how. Terapio across the poor lad. An epic story unfolding. More like a tragedy striking. It'll be about an epic chef. And it's start of fame. And is this will be the start of his fa fandom? Fandom? Famedom. Famedom. It'll be the start of the fame. Fa fa famedom. Famedom. All right, so I'm ready. You only need to talk to Bosco at the stand, and he'll set all in motion. Everything else depends on your neat final base. Make sure you bring a lot of high-quality ingredients and plan ahead. I can tell you that there will be a 
three dish contest by no Tarapio. He cooks very dishes, very vigorous dishes. I wouldn't try beating him in this field. What then? Should I focus on more elaborate? Yes, you should have a sauce ready that goes well with sophisticated. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, Tarapio won't be able to benefit from that, and you'll be able to impress the judge. Keep that in mind. Got it. Good luck, and remember, do not mention my name or my help, or they will disqualify you. This is very against the rules. Well, I wouldn't put it past you to do something very against the rules, so. Well, let's see, what does the quest say? Let's go get ready for this fight here, shall we? Shall we? Uh, gather th a three-dish combat and talk to Bosco when I'm ready to face Tarapio. I should make sure to take at least one Gostata with me. All right, I'm going to go figure out what three dishes I want to bake and what sauce, and we'll reconnect for this fight. All right, so let's walk you through my plan here. I spent some time meticulously calculating this. So I've also got my cow spawner here. Look at this nice fenced in area. Got three cows to bring in. Perfect. And I've got some feed here too. So these guys will be all set. I've got my gate in and out and I've also got a gate to the slaughterhouse over here. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's looking awesome. So now we've got our cows nice and penned up. They look beautiful in there. And I'm trying to think. So here's the plan, right? Got a lot of wood. Let me chop this wood up here. So here's the plan. I'm going to use rice, gostado, and milk, I think. I think that's going to be the major play here. So if we look at... I don't have a rice on me. Oh, and I'm going to use cheese sauce, but I need to make special dough. Oh, no, no. I, I No. Milk was secondary, so this was my thought. I was going to go special dough, rice, gostado. And let me show you why. Let me go grab rice. Got the rice. So if I come over here, so special dough, right? So if I put it into the pan empty, it'll give me a little bit of vigor, which is just some free points. It's not the main promise now the next thing if i put in is rice i'll get five more sophistry out of it with the bonus for using it in a pan with processed greens which is the special dough and then if i follow it up with gostado i'll get 27 sophistry there so i think that's going to be the play so let me make i'm gonna make five of these right so i need it's a three dish challenge so i need three of them and i need three sauces here so i'm going to use a cheese sauce for the first dish because it's going to make the judge like sophistication increase it to times two so it'll last for two dishes which means it'll last for the second battle so i need one for the first battle to make it into the second and then i need one in the second battle to make sure that it hits for the third battle. So there's two. And I also decided to do a mushroom sauce. I already had one from when we were testing out prices. Oh, wow, that's expensive. 148 for that. I'm gonna have to see if that's worth it. Actually, that is worth it, 148 bucks. Eh, we'll, we'll see. So, but like I was saying, and then I'm gonna use a mushroom sauce in the very last one to get the 10 sophistry bonus, which will make it 20 with the times two. I really wanted to be able to use this uh, spirit potato sauce. But I don't know how to make ethereal katsubushi, which is just, um, yeah, I, I just don't know if my level's high enough or if I just can't use it at this point in the game. So we'll see. Maybe it'll open up on the next one. I think it's like right here or something, though. <clears throat> so that's the play. I've got, I've got three ethereal potatoes. I've got my sauces. I've got my dough. I just need a couple bits of rice, which I've got two there. And I'll grab one. Come on, getting stuck here. Got one right here, so we'll just grab the fresh harvest stuff. All Only the freshest ingredients for these challenges. Okay, so going in, first dish, we're going to drop in a special dough, drop in a rice, drop in a gostado, and then we're going to add cheese sauce. Right, dough, rice, gostado, cheese sauce, ghost, or dough, rice, gostado, mushroom sauce. End the game, win it all, swoon fans got it we're done so let's go see if i can do this if not um i may have to wait till the next day before i can but we'll, we'll, we'll see here we'll see what we got going on we did need to wait till the next day so i did some activities to get my multipliers up so now let's go to battle uh mrs bet zest what can i help you with maybe you're ready to respond to chef tropio's challenge well 
judges tastes yeah look at that Ooh, i was gonna use those too good thing i didn't i better make sure i check these so uh one will get that yep warning losing a boss fight will, re will revert to the last saved game okay yep we're ready let's do this oh there's no need for that i can walk up there not with the city in lockdown you need to deal you need to deal with a ton of bureaucracy yep okay hammer is useful for taking down objects Got a delivery for the culinary in town. Go ahead. Hey, right, bring it in, Rafino. With the sound. New urban safety regulations prevent people from being caught by a backing up cart. I see, but how did you get the donkey to make that sound? Oh, it's easy. You see, you take a whistle, a plug, and a bag of beans, and you know, forget what I asked. What do we have today? Compost load and chest. Chest? Those are sacks. No. It's zest. Ah, the challenger. Head straight to the tower. <laughs> Only you're allowed in, though. Your pals can stay in the cart. Go on. My pals? Yes. I mean the bag? Uh, yeah, you're cleverly implying that I'm a sack of flog. Probably because I don't live in the inner city. Well, yeah, it wasn't that hard. Well, why on Fulger would you insult me like that? Eh, you were supposed to just take it and move along. Well, I'm most definitely not going to take it and move along. I'm sick. Yep. Uh, I demand an apology. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You act all high and mighty, but you've just judged me based on my job, mister. You're in no position to point figures. I didn't judge you. I judge your skills performing it. A gatekeeper's job does not involve insulting people he or she does not like. Your job is to keep the intruders out and let guests in, but if you insult guests, you are polluting the transaction, letting in bad moods and potential trouble. An obnoxious gatekeeper is no better than a dirty strainer. That's why I called you useless. You specifically. It's all right. Just apologize and promise to do better in the future. That's one hell of an ad to come from someone sitting on a stinking compost cart. Hey, shameful. <laughs> I, uh, uh, no, you see, it's a, uh, cart's not supposed to stink, and it, it's compost pile. It's supposed to be bloody smelling. You're not supposed to be, bl be blasted in, yet here we are. Sorry, that's better. I wasn't talking to you. Move along. They're waiting for you. Get us the lost cause. I love the banter on this. It's a little long sometimes, but it is really enjoyable. Ooh, so look at this. It's so fancy. All right, let's just get to the battle. Up, oh, you're finally here. I hope you're ready. As ready as I can be. Head straight to the waiting room. Relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, arena where chefs teach each other to ribbons, the utmost distract, yeah, 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 competition breeds supremacy, we're not here to make friends, it never hurts to be friendly. Speaking of which, isn't that Angra over there? Hey, Angra. Did, did she just give me the cold shoulder? What did I just tell you? Angra's not your friend, Zash, she's a critic. And the judge for this matchup all things, she didn't look that, like a bad sort. Might, might have been the case before she knew you were a chef. There are no friends in this trade. Well, you and I are in the trade, and we're friends, right? Uh, yeah. It isn't our new challenger, Zest. Ah, uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, well, try not to disappoint. Ah, huh, nice fella. He's not nice at all. Did you have any idea who that was? The only polite person in the whole city? That was Malvacious. The head of the critic union. <laughs> so much for not being the center of the universe. The hell is he doing here? Way below his remit. Uh, no time to think about it. It's time, Therapy. Oh, wait. You have a combat to win. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. We're back, baby. Time for another battle. Oh, I love the battles in this game. They're so fun. Paladins of Flavors, I bid you welcome to the Halls of Taste! Today we have a very special combat schedule for your pleasure, for we'll decide the fate of no less than a restaurant in the city. Let's meet our contestants to your left, our glory... An old glory makes its comeback to the arena, an orc who burns vividly in the hearts of all visitors to Ambrosia and the Bane of Taurus, the mobster chef. Let us welcome to Rapio! Smug bastard. And to your right, a complete stranger who has come out of nowhere, a man who not only has settled into a cursed villa, but also decided to pick a fight with the most dangerous chef in town. Some would call him bold, some would call him stupid, but no one would call him predictable. The th thumbleweed, the spontaneous man, the ingenious chef, Zest. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go as far to call myself ingenious. Neither would I. I wouldn't worry too much about what they call you, maggot. I'm going to end your career before it starts. I don't even have a career. Exactly. And the judge that will be giving us a winner, none other than a favorite of the audience, Angra, the Merry Kitty. Get on with it, Chris. You can see she's as cheerful as ever, but you've got to hurt the woman. No time to lose. One of these two gentlemen walk out of this room owning a cursed manor in the worst restaurant in Ambrosia. Who will it be? Only one way to find out. Let's get cooking. Shukugeki no Chuba. All right, so... That's some. All right, it's dough, rice, potato. Dough, rice, potato. Dough, rice, potato. Yeah. All right, so. 
Oh, plus 30 to an empty pan? I didn't actually realize that. Oh, well. Go. Get some aroma out of that. Okay. Toss it. Dough. Rice. And potato. And then I want to use cheese sauce for this one. Serve it up. Let's hope this works. This is the best thing I can think of. Using all high quality ingredients besides the rice, but it's just for the bonus. I didn't realize that I got plus 30 for an empty pan. All right, so I got the plus 25 for going first. Okay. Oh, perfect. Actually, yeah, that's probably a really good thing there for me. 12 zest, 24 sophistry, or wisdom. I always forget what the blue is. That times two. Ooh. 42. Six. Six, because he got the times two. Okay, so we, we know he's not doing too much with that. All right, let's see what we got here. Round two. Fight two. All right, so I got to think here. If I go first again, I'll get... Yeah, because I, I need to go first because I need that times two. Okay, cook. So we're going to throw in, I did Gostado Rice Gostado. That might have worked out a lot better, actually. Hopefully that doesn't hurt me. If, if it does, we'll, um, I'll just do that next time. Gostado Rice Gostado. It'll be all about that Gostado. All right. There we go. That. Rice. And Gostado. And then I need cheese sauce for this one, too. It's that cheese sauce in there, baby. And serve the dish. All right, let's see what we got here. Baby. But we got his here too. What's he got? 124. Alright, alright. Six. Six. Okay, okay. Hey, we're, we're, we're in this. We're in this. Okay, I just have to go first. So I gotta make sure to get my aromas right. All right, baby. And then we're going to use our cheese sauce for that extra little bonus there. All right, let's get this, babies. Come on. Come on, hype me up here. Hype me up, crowd. All right. Don't mess it up. All right, so we're going to go special dough. Look at all that aroma. Rice. Gostado. Where'd my Gostado go? Hopefully I didn't mess up my flavor. I don't know where that thing is, but we'll add my sauce. Is it just like floating somewhere? Six. 
Serve it up. Come on, come on, come on. What do we got? Yeah, baby. Look at that aroma. 54, son. What did I make? Look at it. It's beautiful. It's the same dish three times. I would never win in any real culinary challenge. So 12, 24, 92, baby. Do we got the, I think we got this in the back because he doesn't have a vigor bonus, so. Can't be that amazing, right? I feel like I OP. Oh my god, 82. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's how you beat Terapia. Freaking be a boss. You could probably do it with. It'd be more expensive, but it'd be Gostado. Rice Gostado. You! You maggot! Terapia, have you lost your mind? Just say the word, boss. Really? This is how you want to do this? You're. You're the one on the set of who set the rules for the stupid bet, not me. I thought you valued your honor. You don't deserve it. And you do. If you really cared about the place, we wouldn't be here to begin with. You should be fighting, fixing your mistakes, not your customers fighting your mistakes. You're, you're right. Stand down. What? You're going to give up like that? I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. But I, I had been defeated long before I stepped into this arena. My fate was sealed the very same day on my triumph as a chef. I reached the top, became complacent with my popularity, took it for granted. I forgot that in this world, what's popular today is tacky tomorrow you keep the place till you fall on your face and say screw it and stand your ground like a champ against the stampede at first it felt right me against the me against the world some took notice awaiting to to a next move that never came if you want anyone to follow you you better be going somewhere anywhere but i just stood there i sat on my ass sinking into irrelevancy too stubborn to accept even the help of an old friend trying to bring me back into the game deep down i knew what was once pride and might slowly became disdain and anger and my art became as bitter as my soul but this has gone on long enough zest the bicornio is yours take care of it got it this man is welcome at the district, and anyone who dares to bother him will answer to me, understood? Yes, sir. Well, thanks, Toropio. But I've got something to say as well. What is it? Anyone fair and square? I got help from outside. My victory is not my own. Help? What kind of help? Did you bribe someone? No, no. Just advice from a professional chef, Matrella. A member of the culinarium. Oh, my victory to her. Matrella, really? This is surprising, but seeking advice is not against the rules at all. Your victory is perfectly legit. Is that really? I thought I was disqualified. Is that what she told you? Ah, I see. She's been sniffing around my restaurant for months now. Well... Looks like she'll be getting more than she bargained for. You break the rules, Bolton. Patrell, did you help Zest with this contest? I, uh, well, I see. Well, according to culinarium law, you were acting as sous chef to Zest when he dueled for the restaurant, endorsing him as a legitimate candidate for restaurant ownership. I'm sorry, but this means you've earned that position by his side. You'll have to serve at Zest Restaurant and help him run the place. Congrats, Zest. It seems you've won more than a restaurant. You also have an employee. My people and I will make sure she follows the rules to the letter. <laughs> Got her. Sucker, that's what you get for trying to play me. That's what you get, Matrella. And well, guys, if you're loving Epic Chef, as I always say, make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you found this useful, if you came here looking for how to beat, beat Terapio, I hope this was helpful. And if it did, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, and it makes you get back here for some of that sweet, shabby content. You're going to stay like that much longer? Shut up. You ruined my life. Hey. You should have told me the rules really worked if you wanted me to keep my mouth shut. It's not my fault you got boiled in your own stew. You were the one who pushed me into the pot with your stupid noble act. You had already won and you had to go and be honest, but you're right. It's not your fault that you're a golden-hearted fool. You know, things are not that bad. I thought running a restaurant was what most chefs wanted. I want to have my restaurant, not work in this ruin taking orders from an idiot. I could always fire you if you want. That would destroy my career prospects. Then we're stuck together. No point crying over spilled plots. Pots, as in pots of milk or stew or something. Get mixed up with the previous metaphor. You said plots. Why would I say plots? I guess you wouldn't. Then we're ready to work together. I don't have a clue on how to run a restaurant. I suppose there's a little choice in the matter. Good to see the enthusiasm. It's better to look towards the future. After all, I won't do much to lament about subsection 349B. Sub subsection 349B? He wouldn't. What? What are you talking about? Oh, I got this rule book a while ago. Didn't give it much thought at first, but after seeing how you got screwed like that by a single rule, well, I started reading it. You started reading it now, right? Not... Not before. Of course, I wouldn't have felt the need to confess anything if I had known. I had nothing to lose after all. And I wouldn't want to cause trouble for someone who was only trying to be helpful to me, right? It, is he serious? Or is he teasing me? What's the deal with this guy? 
Oh, we got her. <laughs> Looks like I got myself a restaurant, but I'm exhausted. Tomorrow, I'll take a good look at it. Yes. Ooh, I got to buy a corneo hat. We got an achievement. You say potato. Wait, oh, new items? Sarimi, Irwinwood planks, pink dough. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff. Algae pesto sauce, spectral chutney, crab ketchup, amaconse, le grant sauce, smoky barbecue. Is that it? Why am I walking? Uh, quest complete, face Terapio and Comet. We gotta go. We'll go check out the forest tomorrow. You can't do it at night, so. Uh, new quest, go to the restaurant and talk to Mattrell. All right, yeah, we'll do all that tomorrow. So, guys, as usual, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.